You're a young boy, and for you, life is all in front like a big mountain. You got feet to climb. I don't know how. So you'll find out. Never a young man had such opportunity like today. He could make history. There's no other theater in Seattle that just does American plays. Where is everybody? They went. And the plays that, that we read in high school, that we do in college, that are, sort of aren't taken so seriously, we're really focusing on them and giving them the attention they deserve. Scene two, that night, the dark dining room. Jacob is heard in his lighted room, reading from a sheet. We're doing readings because we're just sort of starting out and we're not sort of financially ready or sort of earned the right to do full production. So I'm doing these readings. People are coming to them and they're loving it because they're oh, hearing the script. Why don't mom let us live here? Why? Why? Because in society like this today, people don't love. Hey! I'm amazed that it's come off as well as it has, because I had no idea how well it would work. You hear it? I think my deepest hope for people coming to these plays is to look at people who look and talk like them on the stage. Two can starve as cheap as one. So what happened? My sort of slogan is, the theater is for everyone. This is our theater, our American theater. Sure, there's more important things in the world than girls. You said a mouthful. 